can't spare the weight. It's a long climb. Oh. There we go. I was gonna try to jump across. <laughs> I probably would have died. Okay, come on. Come on. Probably would have fell to my death. Takes is a few good handholds. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. Our death. <sighs> All data has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy alpha privileges to recover purge data? Oh yes, I believe I do. The file has been recovered. Elizabeth, good to, uh, it's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your daddy confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. You're killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes, those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another fire has been recovered. Yeah. This isn't a glitch. Oh, it's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. What? You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth kicks out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots friend all life on Earth, but somehow she defeated them. The world of the Old Ones fell, but life went on, or, or we wouldn't be here. Obviously. The final fire has been recovered. 
Where? Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Why yes, not? Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. Yeah, you, yeah she does. You won't fucking I'll sign. sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. This, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. That's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> All right, Zavala. You should really try talking that way to Shut me up. face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? No. Something less Here's trivial. The All right, Silence. You've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Sobek. And I have, but I still don't understand my connection to her. Or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me. Or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, We've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. No. Are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Because you're talking to me? You're insufferable, you know that? Let's get on with this. 
Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. And down we go. Fast travel pack. Toes going numb. Keep moving. Toes going numb. How long is our rope anyways? Like I've always wondered that. <laughs> Oh, right in, right in the top of its head. Oh. You're still here. <laughs> Sounds like a good play. All right, so I think that's a good, uh, good stopping point. Yeah, that's a got some good story stuff uh, going on. Or I should say in this uh, recording session. Um, I know in the other ones it's just more of me just like running around and stuff. Even, even this one too, right? But at least uh, we did, we did like two main missions, and then we also saved Owen's, Owen's family in this, uh, in this session. Ah, I've been recording for an hour and forty-five minutes. Man, it's like, it takes a long time, or, no, uh, hold on, wait, no, that's, I didn't word that right, it, uh, it, you can get lost in this game, that's what I mean to say, like, time flies when, whenever you're playing this game, for me anyways, I don't know about for you guys, because, uh, you know, you're just watching me, watching me, uh, just run around, it seems like I'm doing nothing right, a little bit. So yeah. With that. I will see you guys in the next session that I record. And uh, with that, I will see you guys later. Latest journey.